This took place one fine weekend when I was in middle school. I decided to start the day off and play with myself. Play with myself seven more times and finish the day with eight times for my highest count in one day. I didn't even feel like doing it. By the fourth time, I was like, bro, I have nothing coming out. I'm, I'm, I'm getting hurt. Like, it was, it was for real. I didn't feel like doing it, but this was a demonic stronghold I had. And I did the math. I was addicted to this for nine and a half years of my life. So in my lifetime, I probably fapped about six and a half to 7,000 times. So usually I would do it twice a day. In high school, I would wake up at 5.15, be sitting on the toilet, watching videos, play with myself, tired, you know, got five, six hours of sleep. Now I just drain myself. Now I got to go to school and I'm going to be tired all day in class. And if I wasn't in sports, I played basketball which began in the fall and ended in like the winter and then I played tennis one season and baseball one season and then when I got home play with myself at night play with myself so like two three times a day bro <laughs> on the weekend four five times a who knows man but I was a hardcore addict and the point is the point is this I was addicted to this nine and a half years of my life a little less than half of my life I'm almost 21 now God supernaturally delivered me from this addiction. It was a process though. I tried my best to quit doing it on my own. And the longest I had gone is 11 days. I would go like five days relapse, seven days relapse. And I would cry out to God. I'm like, God, I don't want to do this anymore. I got, I got to the point that I realized this is bad. And when I really tried to follow God and picked up my Bible and got into the word daily and prayed to God and tried to build my relationship with God, that's when I realized it was a problem. But before that, I thought about it at times. In the back of my mind, I was thinking like, I would like to stop this, but I can't. It feels too good. I'm not strong enough to do it. And then when I found God, I just said, hey, God, this is in your hands. I want to stop this. And I didn't know how it would go. It was hard to think that. I really thought it was going to be just this massive fight because for a while it was. For a while it was like, God, where are you? I'm doing this all on my own. I'm not, I'm not getting any help. And then one day I just woke up, didn't feel like doing it. A month went by, still didn't feel like doing it. Now I'm on day 88 and I still haven't felt like doing it. And the few times I felt tempted, the few times I've, you know, been H-O-R, you know what? <clears throat> my spirit is like, bro, what is the point? My spirit overpowers my flesh, overpowers my body. My spirit puts my body in check. My body's like, oh, I will oh, pick up the phone. And my spirit's like, no, you are not picking up the phone. And my body's like, okay, daddy. You know, my body's like submitting to my spirit. The flesh is... <laughs> the flesh isn't powerful, bro. If you got the Holy Spirit in you, the flesh can't do anything. Now, the flesh can be tempted, obviously. <laughs> Jesus was tempted. He was in the flesh, but he never sinned. Now, I'm not saying I'm never going to sin. I'm going to sin. I'm going to slip up. I slip up daily. Not with playing with myself, but other things, man. God is going to refine us like gold. It takes time. It's a process. From time to time, we will be vulnerable. From time to time, we will have a moment of weakness. But what you need to do is continue seeking God. Continue to cry out to God and pray to God. And one day, because God did, and this is the thing, man. I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed that God did this to me. Because now I know how it feels. And I can tell anybody that God delivered me from this addiction. He can do it to you too. All it takes is boom, boom. It's, it's just God doing something supernaturally. And then it manifests in a physical realm that we live in now. That's all it took, bro. And I know God. I, I feel the presence of God, man. It's not, I don't believe in God. I know God. People, oh, do you believe in, you believe in God? No, I don't believe in God. I know God because he's done stuff in my life because I feel his presence because there's evidence, bro. Jesus, there is 30 documents about Jesus from ancient times. There's only 10, oh no, excuse me. There's only 12 documents of Emperor Tiberius, the Roman emperor when Jesus was alive. Only 12 documents of a wealthy, famous man that millions of people knew. A man that was the top dog, bro. He was the Roman emperor, the strongest na uh, nation, kingdom, whatever you want to call it. Strongest, strongest kingdom at the time. Everybody knew him. He was famous. Even leading up to him being the emperor, he was famous. Then you have Jesus, a man that is relatively unknown until the age of 30. Yes, people probably knew him. Some people probably knew him on a local level. But there's three times as many documents on Jesus. If Jesus wasn't actually performing miracles. And wasn't actually doing crazy stuff to us. 
there wouldn't be any documents on him. People would just be like, oh, he's crazy. Nobody would be writing about that. Nobody would be risking their lives about that for him and for what he believes in, Christianity. They wouldn't be doing that. And then they'd be crazy too. So, Jesus, man, can heal you. If you repent, <clears throat> if you ask me wash clean, if you take action, taking action isn't just, God, you know, I don't like doing this. Please help me. You know, taking action is like laying down on your floor, contemplating, man, I want to play with myself, but at the same time, I don't. That's what taking action, oh God, I'm going to have a 25 minute conversation with God about my struggles, about the temptation, about my worries, about my anxieties, out loud. That's what taking action is. Taking action is, man, I'm going to unfollow the damn IG models. <laughs> you know, I'm going to stop hanging around these, I'm going to stop going to the club. I'm going to stop, I'm just going to, you know, like what the Bible says, if your eyes causes you to stumble, you know, pluck it out. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, these IG models, these women dancing on, you know, the platform, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to name any platforms, but, you know, the women dancing on that one platform in bikinis that are way too small, you know, tits shaking. Shit, I'm going to get off that app. That's what you'll be thinking. That's what you'll be doing, bro. Hey, come my eyes out. Come my hands off. That's what you got to do. It ain't easy. And it makes me sad, too, because oh, <clears throat> when I was addicted to doing this, it was in the production stage of my life. Entering middle school, I was five foot one. Exiting middle school, I was five foot ten and a half, five foot eleven. High school, I just stopped growing. I was five foot eleven. 115 pounds and semen has nutrients proteins minerals and the fact that I was just stimulating my mind and releasing this life force day in and day out the body is not meant to be doing that yes if you do it once in a while okay cool find your balance but to be doing it one two times a day is insane the body is just starved at that point the body has no time to rejuvenate itself and sexual energy is some of the purest energy we have as humans it has a great impact on the nervous system so my body was not performing at its peak ability and it still probably isn't now because it's only been 88 days and that's really not much time to heal itself like yes it's probably healing it's probably healed to a certain extent but Bro, that's 10 years of damage. Six and a half thousand times. I mean, come on. It's just horrible. It's like maybe I'll be taller. Maybe I'll be stronger. Maybe I don't know. But I wouldn't be the man I am now. That's what I'm trying to say. It sucks, man. It sucks a lot. But I, I have my testimony. I can relate to people. I can tell guys, look, I had this addiction. I was a hardcore addict. Luckily, it never went down any bad paths. It never went down any illegal paths, any abusive paths, physically, mentally, verbally. With It did, man. It actually did. With women, with um, the verbal stuff, I used to have an attitude with women back in the day. Now, physically, it never went down that. Illegally, it never went down that. But <clears throat> at times, it was just, it got to me, man. You saw women as like objects. And until I actually got on NoFap, I never experienced that enjoyment of just interacting with a female on a deep conversational level it was always just man she's attractive let me talk to her it wasn't like oh let me connect with her man like she's beautiful man that that female energy is just amazing to me that's sex now to me female energy to me a good conversation with a woman that is also showing effort also showing energy and just mutual mutual feelings towards me that sex to me now man sex isn't just you know sticking it in like like what is that bro that's that's gonna be reserved for my wife that's all i can say about that but you get to this point of like semen retention just really refreshes the mind really changes how you act and how you think about everything in life you go outside and it's just, wow, man, beautiful planet God made. You know, obviously not the society, obviously not the system, but wow, like the planet, the animals, 
the just colors, all of it, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Perfect job by the Most High God. That that's all, that's all you can say, man. You just enjoy life. You become authentic. You become the man God made you to be. You're not putting on this act. <laughs> that's what's up with it, man. So play with myself eight times in one day, and I'll admit that, bro. I remember telling a guy in high school, one of my friends at the time in high school, because <clears throat> I I don't know how the conversation came was like. What was the most time you did in a day? I was like eight times. He's like, bro, you're addicted. And at the time, I'm like, no, I'm not addicted. It's just something to do. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, bro, you're addicted. And Jesus even said, if you look at a woman with lust, you commit a dot tree. So if I'm looking, like, bro, I'm on my phone looking at all these women having all these soul ties, all these actors on these websites that most of these women have so much damage, bro, mentally, spiritually, psychologically they have a lot of damage most of them are checked out when they do these these videos a lot of them are on drugs alcohol antidepressants you name it man a lot of them are just so damaged and it's sad to see some of these beautiful women man just go down this path man and and, and sell their souls and defile themselves and cause other people to stumble it's so sad to see that but anyhow yeah i was looking at a woman with lust committing adultery i was <clears throat> What well, was an idle one? I was spending so much time doing it. I was defiling my body, my temple that God gave me. You know, I wasn't taking care of that. It was just horrible, bro. It was, it's not a fun time in my life. It was a, a really depressing time. And I wanted a woman so bad, man. I wanted just a loyal, beautiful woman so bad at the time. I couldn't handle one, though. That was the thing. How can a hardcore addict like myself take care of a woman... And love a woman when he doesn't even love himself. When he's lonely, he's shy, he's not confident, he's not strong, he's not building himself up. Like, yeah, the mindset's always been there, but at the a lot of times it wasn't being used. So I just physically, mentally, spiritually wasn't in that spot, man. I wasn't in that position. How could I lead a woman like that? I was weak, I was shy, I was... Bro, like, I just couldn't do it. So to anybody, man, that's like fapping a lot, just know it's a process. Look, I'm going to look at you in the eyes, man. It's a process. It's going to take time. But the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times but gets back up. But a wicked man falls into mischief. God knows the heart, man. If you relapse <clears throat> eight days in, okay, it's an improvement. You used to do it daily. One of these days, God can and God will deliver you. But you have to seek God with all your heart and you will find him. <clears throat> That's all I got today, man. Like, comment what you want to see next. I'll see you next time.